Welcome to ADHD Go. Atypicals struggle with memory. And this might seem counterintuitive because in our time issues video, we discussed how atypicals really live in the moment. So it might seem like we make strong memories, but actually because of our scattered attention, the opposite is true. Because in the moment, we tend not to absorb all of the details and make strong memories in the first place. We're either scattered between many different things or we're hyper-focused on one particular detail that stands out and eclipses everything else. So we don't make those strong memories in the first place. And we're left with a more general impression which is stripped of nuance. Because our brains don't retain the same level of detail as a neurotypicals might, we are often left with just one big overarching emotion that kind of defines generally a space of time. So we'll think, oh, that was, I was sad back then, or I was angry for a while then. And because there's not quite so much detail and nuance there, this can cause friction in a lot of our relationships when other people have experienced the same thing and remember it very differently. It's critical that we reflect on important memories, focus on the emotions and the vital information, and some of the details that we want to keep with us, even writing things down when we reflect at the end of the day in your notebook or treatment journal you're going to want to reflect on those things to make as strong a memory as possible. Nobody's memory is perfect, but we have to put in a little bit of extra effort to really make our memories strong and influence our future behavior. In the next video, we'll talk about another sub-symptom of ADHD.